No one's getting $2,500 a month Social Security. No one is. I'm only getting $1,600 a month, so no one is getting it. So don't listen to this guy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's a charlatan, says one of the comments on my YouTube channel about Social Security. I said, oh, that's interesting. Uh, so the way he was talking, he called Social Insecurity and Meta Scare and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to actually kind of back do some back testing here to see what his benefit would have been if he would have taken that full retirement age, presuming that he hasn't, and we can dive right into that. And then I'm also going to show you how easy it is to get your full your uh, your $2,500 a month of income without even waiting until you're 70 years old. So let's take a look at this. So he said he was making he makes $1,600 a month in Social Security. Now, I'm assuming he took it early, all right? And the reason for that is because generally people, when they start talking how bad Social Security is, the insecurity in nature and all that, they're taking it early because they want to get it while they can because it's going bankrupt. So, but we'll go into both sides. We'll go into if he took it early, if he took it before retirement age, or if he took it late. All right, so what we got to do is we got to figure out what his AIME is first. And the way we do that is we take his $1,600, and we know the first bend point, we know for a fact he of that $1,600, $833 came from the first bend point. So we take 833 divide by 0.9 because that's what the bend point uh, ratio is, and that gives us 926, and that's great. But now we got to figure out what the second bend point is. So $1,600 minus 833 gives us, he gets $767 on the second bend point is what he gets for income. 767, oops, uh, seven, and we divide that by 0.32 because that's the second bend points ratio. It's 32% of the second bend point is what you get in benefit. So 767 divided by 0 0.32, 2396. So he had 2396 in his second bend point. We uh, add these two together plus 926. And so he has $3,322 a month is his AIME. 3322, can you all see it? Yeah, okay is A-I-M-E. All right, now, we times that by 12 to get an annual benefit here, times 12, 39874, 39874. All right, so again, that's what his benefit is, but I don't think that's it, actually. I think what he did, I think he took this early. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take 39874, and we're going to times it by 1.32 for full retirement age. That's early. Kind of by 1.32, if he would have taken a full retirement age, 52,000. Let me try a different marker here. Let's try purple. 52,006. That's not working great, is it? All right, 52,634. Okay, yeah, you can see. All right, and that's at full retirement age. All right, now we're going to times that by 1.32 to see what it would have been if he would have waited until his uh, delayed earnings credits. Now, again, he did say only people who waited till 70 get the uh, $2,500 a month. Well, let's just take a look. Times 1.32, 69,477. 69, oh, there you go, 477. That's it. Delayed earnings credits. Okay, 69,477. All right. So basically, we got three scenarios here. If he took, if this is his AIME, he made thirty nine thousand eight hundred seventy four dollars. Is his average indexed yearly earnings? Average indexed yearly earnings. So not much. I mean, that's uh, significantly below uh, what the uh, the median household income is. But you know, we have a median household. That means which is sixty thousand dollars. There are many many people who are making below the median. That's a fact. And so, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but if, if you're if you're AIME. Is thirty nine thousand eight seventy four uh, the most? Uh, you, I mean, the most you could have got from that would be uh, sixteen hundred dollars at your full retirement age times one point three two uh, is twenty one twelve. So I mean, in, in this case, if you're making forty thousand, is your averaged yearly indexed earnings? You're not going to get twenty five hundred dollars a month because you're only making forty thousand a year of income. If that makes sense. Uh, but that's not the median. I mean, that's well below the median. So I think this is probably more like it. I have a sneaky suspicion his average yearly indexed earnings is about 52,634. Uh, 52, all right. So if that's the case, what we're going to do here is we're going to divide by 12, and that's going to give us 52,364. 
six six three four five two six three four divided by twelve four three eight six that's going to be his average index monthly earnings all right now we take minus nine twenty six minus nine twenty six that gives us three four six zero times point three two times point nine we know that's eight thirty three and we know this is three four six zero times point three two that's one one oh seven so that would have given us 11808 8 plus 833, 1940. All right, so 1940 at full retirement age is, uh, that's his benefit. If he would have taken, if he would have waited till he's full retirement age at 1940, so 52,634 a year, wait till he's full retirement age, he would have got 1940 as opposed to $1,600 that he's getting now. I guess I could have just done that, right? Well, 1600 times 1.32, no, it won't be, yeah. So we gotta figure out the AIME. All right, anyway, so now 1940 is probably what we're working with here. So let's erase all this, because I have a sneaky suspicion that is his full retirement age amount is that, 1940. All right, so we're just gonna get rid of all this. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's a method to my madness to show you how easy it is actually to get $2,500 a month in Social Security. All right, so 1940 is his full retirement age benefit. Right? Now, we're going to show you two things here real quick. You get $30,000 a year in Social Security. First, we take his 1940 and we half it. We're going to assume he's married filing jointly. And we're going to say 1940 divided by 2 gives us 970. So take these two numbers and add them. Plus nineteen forty, and there's twenty nine hundred dollars. That's just a spousal. All right, so that's twenty nine hundred bucks times two twelve. That's thirty five thousand dollars a year. All right, that's it. I mean, that's not. <laughs> We even blink an eye. So the guy made roughly fifty thousand dollars a year between he and his spouse. He, I mean, they get right there thirty-five thousand bucks a year. If they just wait till the full retirement age. That's not delayed earnings credits. They just wait till full retirement age. So I'm sorry, thirty thousand is easily attainable. But let's say, yeah, Josh, I'm not married. All right, you're not married. How do you get thirty thousand a year if you're not married? All right. Well, here we're just gonna do some back testing. Let me get a different color here. I don't like the way that one's working. Yeah, this is this green one. Let's just say make sixty thousand a year, and we're going to say that's your average index monthly earnings is five thousand. You made the median household amount throughout your lifetime. You didn't make more, you didn't make less. You just made the median household amount, which is sixty thousand dollars a year, or five thousand a month. Again, first eight thirty three times that by 0 0.9 equals eight thirty three. Oops, ah, not eight thirty three. It's the first nine twenty six. Excuse me. All right. Now we take 5,000 minus 926. That gives us 4,074 dollars. Minus 4,074 times that by 0.32 equals 1303. 1303. All right, so we add these two guys together. That's 2136. All right, so at your full retirement age, if you made $60,000 a year, you're getting 2136 at your FRA, full retirement age. All right, let's say we did 75,000 a year instead though. So again, he said no one gets $2,500 a year unless they retire late. All right, so same thing here, we divide that by 12. 75,000 divided by 12 is 62.50. So again, this 75,000 assumes that you've been making a little bit more than median income on average. That's 25% uh, more than median income on average for the bulk of your working career. Well, actually not even the bulk, 35 years, if that makes sense. So some years you might have made more, some years you might have been less, it doesn't matter. Just averages out to be 75,000 is your average index yearly earnings. 
All right, divide that by 12, your AIME is 62.50, minus 926, which equals 833. Five zero minus nine two six fifty three. So we're still not even in the third bend point yet. Divide by point three two. All right, times point three two seventeen oh three. Take those two together, and there you go, right there. Twenty five thirty six at your forward time range. All right, so. If you made the median, you're a little bit short of $2,500 a month if you are single. If you made 25% more than the median, you're, well, you're right there, $2,500 a month. I mean, there you go. <laughs> it's not that difficult to get $2,500 a month of Social Security. The first thing is you got to wait until your full retirement age, man. I mean, that's what you got to do first and foremost. If you take it earlier, I can't help you. If you wait till your full retirement age, you're good to go. I don't suggest very many people wait or take it early because I'm just, I've done so many videos on the tax ramifications, the benefits of social security delay, uh, that's mind boggling, but here you go. So to get $2,500 a month in income, you need about $75,000 of average yearly er earnings. And I mean, I would even make it even simpler. $7,500 a year times 32. Well, on average 35 a year, okay. Times 35, excuse me. So that means you need to have 75,000 times 35, 2.62 million of total indexed earnings. All right, and that means you could have, I mean, you, know, you could have 10 years at 125,000 roughly the max, and then, you know, 15 years are not the max. I mean, this whole, I mean, literally, let's say you had, I don't know, 50,000 is your index earnings for 15 years, and you had 125 is your index earnings for 10, uh, 25, we'll say. So you got 50,000 times 25, that's 1.25 million. And then one point, oh, that's 1.25 right there. All right. So there you go. Right at, you know, roughly two, that's right short of 2.62 million. So in this case, you made below the median household income for 25 of your 35 years. You made, uh, you know, significant 8% below. But then in a couple of years, you made more than the median income for 10 years. Uh, see, that's how it works with Social Security. They just, they, I mean, they take all your taxable Social Security and they add them to, and they index them, add them together. They give you this base amount. They divide that base amount by 420 because that's 35 years at 12 months of a year. And they give you an AIME, an average index monthly earnings. It's literally that simple. So in this case, you only made $50,000 a year for 25, the bulk of your Social Security earnings years. But a couple years, you did great because maybe in real estate or something like that, just drop my cap. Yeah. What happened to it? And uh, but either way, it, th these two things add up to 2.5 million, which is pretty, up, which is right where you need to be. 2.5 million would give you 2,500 bucks a month, Social Security. So it's easily doable, my friends. You just got to understand how the system works. And oh, there it is. And rule number one is don't take it early. Don't take it early. I'm just telling you. Now, some people have to take it early. I'm not gonna yell at you, but just try not to. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks now.